Hello from Turkey. We're the GTU Rover team proudly representing Gebzet Technical University. Today we're excited to introduce FEZA, the fourth and most advanced rover we have developed as part of our ongoing mission in space robotics. Since our founding in 2020, our team brings together 40 students from a wide range of academic departments with a shared passion for space exploration. We're organized into five sub-teams, mechanics, electronics, software, science and business, all working in close coordination. Through a collaborative and interdisciplinary approach, we overcome real-world engineering challenges and continually push the boundaries of what we can achieve together. Our goal this year is to participate in the ERC 2025, Europe's largest space robotics competition. By participating in this global event, we aim to deepen our technical expertise, gain international experience and present to the world an important project developed by engineers in Turkey. Above all, our participation is driven by a shared ambition to push the boundaries of innovation and space technologies and to proudly represent our project by demonstrating our capabilities on one of the most prestigious international stages. The mobile system is designed to provide stable and safe drive by reducing vibrations and shocking on challenging conditions. The chassis is made of 2.5 mm thick carbon fiber composite material produced by vacuum infusion. The composite plates are precision cut using water jet technology and join it with aluminum brackets. The battery pack is placed under the chassis to keep the balance of weight in the center and protect the batteries from external influences. The suspension system uses four dual air chamber shock absorbers, each connected to independent well arms. This system supports balanced driving by minimizing the risk caused by external factors. In addition, thanks to the rocker mechanism, the right and left suspension system work together to increase the stability of the rover. The four airless styles used in rover are made of TPU, PLA and ABS material with FTM technology. These wells each with a diameter of 27 cm and a base width of 10 cm are resistant to impacts thanks to their robust structure and provide driving comfort in difficult terrains. The rover has a total length of 95 cm, a well base of 70 cm and a weight of approximately 16 kg. In our upgrade autonomous navigation stack, we have transitioned from ROS Nautic to ROS2 Humble. Unlocking real-time communication, improved rover control, and enhanced understanding the environment. For precise localization, we fuse Z2 camera visual inertial odometry with well encoder data. To meet the accuracy requirements for autonomy sampling and navigation, we supplement localization with a differential GPS system, reducing position error to just 1 or 3 cm. A voxel grid filter is used to downsample point cloud data from both leader and Z2 depth image to efficiently construct 2D and 3D cost map enabling real-time obstacle detection and collision avoidance. We utilize the A-STAR algorithm for pet planning, ensuring rover can autonomously traverse both flat and inclined surface with speed up to 1 meter second. To detect defined marker and determine the relative positions, we developed a custom Aruka detection package using OpenCV and ROSTA, aiding both side sensitive sampling and autonomous navigation. Our React-based GUI provides full ground station control and telemetry monitoring supporting both mission planning and data analysis without requiring physical interaction during autonomous phases. For the embedded system of the rover, we are using STM32 microcontroller for real-time control, which communicates with NVIDIA Jetson Orin. This year, we have built the entire embedded system software from the ground up using bare metal programming. Additionally, by utilizing feedback from our new stepper motor drivers, we achieve precise PID control based on encoder data. Let's take a look at rover's power system. The stepper motors and on-the-board systems are powered by 24 voltage, 13,000 mAh battery, while the robotic arm mechanism is powered by 12 voltage, 22,000 mAh battery. The remaining power requirements are met by our custom-designed regulator board. Additionally, the entire power system is managed by our custom-designed BMS. The emergency stop button ensures quick and safe power shutdown in critical stations. Communication between the common stage and the vehicle is provided by Ubiquit Rocket M2 routers operating at 2.4 GHz bandwidth. This setup is achieved by using a sector antenna at the control station and two omnidirectional antennas on the vehicle. The use of this dual router setup prevents the mixing of video and data. The mini IP cameras and routers used ensure that the video is transmitted continuously and stably. The hardware and software features of the selected equipment enable continuous monitoring and the control of communication. 
To meet the competition's requirements, high strength carbon fiber materials were selected for the drone's construction. The landing legs have been specifically designed to enhance stability during operation. Additionally, a gimbal-mounted camera system has been integrated to fulfill mission objectives. Our drone using an autonomous driving system. We run this system on a Raspberry Pi using ROS. To control the drone, we developed a control library with the Marvelous package. We tested our system in the Gazabo simulation environment. For navigation and scanning, we use GPS and camera data. Also, we use OpenCV to detect article markers. These are special black and white square patterns. The camera sees these patterns, then OpenCV finds them in the image. After that, the drone checks the marker's position and angle. This helps the drone know where it is. It can also understand which way it is facing. A six-axis robotic arm was used to perform manipulation tests. A DC motor with an L-type gearbox was employed on the first axis. And the 1 to 30 ratio worm gear mechanism with a self-locking system was chosen for motion transmission. Throughout the use of cycloidal gear system developed during the R&D process, we achieved both low backlash and high efficiency outputs, making our system more compact and efficient by applying the same system on the second and third axis with a 1 to 36 ratio reducer and high torque motors we achieved precise movements and high torque outputs a belt and pulley system installed on the third axis enables the rotation of the worst and the gripper the differential worst mechanism is actuated on the fifth and sixth axis uses gears produces through powder bed fusion technology. The gripper is made of the pickup soil and hold object. It works with a worm gear system. Two types of fingers were made in suitable sizes using TPU and PLA materials. Carbon fiber plates and tubes were chosen for connection to joint between the axes. Aluminium was used as the main material for the axis and their connections. As a result, we obtained a robotic arm approximately 1.2 meters in length and weighing around 16 kilograms. The scientific mission is centered on geological identification and exploration within deep canyon system of Valles Menes on Mars. Preliminary surveys of region were carried out using existing literature and digital tools including Highview, JMars and Google Earth Pro. Following an in-depth review of previous Mars mission and landing sites, an appropriate landing location was identified, and geological map of the region was created. This map plays a vital role in shaping our scientific exploration strategy and formulating a testable hypothesis. The selected area will be analyzed both geologically and topographically using software tools. Various sample collection systems have been developed to effectively address our requirements, including a large scoop for gathering regolith and a drilling mechanism for obtaining deep soil samples. Custom design containers have been implemented to ensure the secure transport and accurate measurement of the collected materials. The sensors gather essential information on Mars's atmospheric and soil conditions and transmit this data to the interface using the robot operating system. The drill system designed to collect soil samples from approximately 30 cm below surface features a two-stage mechanism. The first stage enables vertical motion of the system while the second stage allows the auger to penetrate beneath the surface. Three NEMA 17 stepper motors are used for the first stage and two DC motors are employed in the second stage. The container which operates in coordination with the drill system is mounted under the chassis and can move back and forth via rack and pinion mechanism.